From the JNL to the United Kingdom, where the former president of the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, Dezeni Alisin Maduke, has been charged with bribery offenses relating to her time as Nigeria's oil minister. And that's according to the United Kingdom National Crime Agency. Alisin Maduke has been on bail since first being arrested in London in October 2015. She will appear in court in the British capital on 2nd of October this year. And soon after her arrest, her family's lawyer told reporters she would strongly contest corruption allegations that have, uh, uh, you know, dodged her during and after her time in former President Goodluck Jonathan's government. The Bronu State Governor of Abangana Zulum says it will continue to distribute palliatives to the people of the state until the end of his four-year tenure. About 400,000 household uh, items uh, are expected, or rather, individuals are expected to benefit from another phase of the distribution. TVC's Jesse Tafida reports. An early morning visit by Governor Baba Gana Zulum to my Sandari ward of Maiduguri. It's another phase of palliative distribution to vulnerable people of the state. Governor Baba Gana Zulum reveals that the gesture is not only to cushion the effect of fuel subsidy, but also the 13 year insurgency. This program is supported by the federal government, state government, and local government. Under the distribution exercise, federal government has provided 52% of this funding as grants to states, 36 states of the federation, while 48% of this funding has to be paid back to the federal government. The state government initially targeted 300,000 households for this program but increased the number to 400,000 with the intervention of President Tinubu. Governor Zulum explains his goal to put smile on the faces of survivors of insurgency. This region was devastated by Boko Haram insurgency. We believe, yes, other states may decide not to act accordingly, but we have no option because our farmlands were destroyed, the means of livelihood of the entire communities were destroyed, so the only way we can do is to provide humanitarian support. Almost everybody is vulnerable in Borno State. So that drives my intention, the desire of this administration, to provide palliatives to the less privileged. It will last for throughout my tenure of the next four years. Beneficiaries of the gesture appreciate the governor for helping in their time of need. At the end of this phase, about 2.8 million persons are expected to benefit from food and non-food items courtesy of the state and federal government. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.